The last NAMAC swap meet I attended was in June of 2023, so I was very eager to visit the February edition of this year. And as always, uh, it was a very good one. Let's start with the three premium cars that I got, and then we can continue with all the uh, three-inch stuff. So from a guy that uh, sells a lot of mini stuff, I found this uh, Mini Cooper by Shuko. Uh, it's a 2019 release, and uh, it's got the Union Jack on the roof. I'm not going to take it off the base, I'm just going to look at it outside of the box, because uh, there's a lot of stuff to look at, and uh, otherwise this video is going to be too long. It will be already too long for some of you, I think. So we got lensed headlights, painted tail lights, a lot of painted details there. It's got that uh, commemorative uh, logo there that I'm not exactly sure what it says. Got the plastic roof with the Union Jack on top. Mini lights, wheels, of course. Yeah, it's a nice one. A little bit of news about Shuko. Well, maybe you already know it, but it was news to me. So I noticed that uh, at the end of last year, the um, on the uh, Simba Dicky website, the uh, Shuko segment suddenly disappeared. Um, and then later on, a uh, German hobby store had a lot of uh, recent uh, Shuko stuff uh, for sale for cheap. As if uh, Simba Dicky had uh, just clearanced their whole inventory. Uh, so here we got also 2019 release the Jaguar E Type Coupe uh, in red. Um, so I started to do some uh, investigating and I found out that uh, the um, uh, Dicky, who uh, it's part of the Simba Dicky group and uh, that owns Shuko. Has uh, kind of gotten into a joint venture or has put Shuko in a joint venture with Spark, which is a French uh, model car manufacturer. Um, so here we got lensed headlights also, but this one also gets lensed taillights. Very nice. Uh, these rims, wire wheels, will leave a lot to be desired. I think uh, Mini GT would do a much better job. And that is possibly why uh, Simba Dicky threw in the towel and got rid of its uh, premium diecast section or division. Um, not being able to compete with uh, Mini GT. Uh, so Spark is uh, mostly race cars um, and Shuko is mostly street cars, so I think they go well together and we'll see what, uh, what happens in the future. Uh, I got one car from uh, Tom's Model Autos, who uh, always has a table there. There was nothing on the table that was interesting to me. I had ordered this online with them and uh, uh, had them bring this for me to the event so I did not have to pay for shipping. 1972 Cadillac Sedan De Ville in a vintage ad cars uh, packaging. Very cool ad there. One great car after another. Here's uh, the other vehicles in the set. Uh, 2022 production and copyright on this. Very nice light blue with the flat black roof. 3381 is the serial number. So you get the uh, white walls. Very heavy metal on metal. Sweet. Green light, which uh, also uh, was sold off to a uh, Another company to uh, Waltersons, Chinese uh, model car company. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on, possibly due to the uh, Chinese competition. Then from Blondie, I got a lot of stuff. Sometimes I get nothing from her. Sometimes there's a lot of stuff there. Um, 
for affordable prices. So I mentioned in a previous video that I had missed out on the blue 2023 Nissan Z or Z. And to my total surprise, when I was preparing for this video, I uh, noticed that I had uh, found this one at uh, Blondie's table. So that's great. Um, they're on long cards because uh, Blondie gets uh, her stuff, her die cast from uh, the United States. Uh, so, yeah. Very cool casting, very nice model. And uh, very striking in this uh, blue. Also managed to grab a uh, Zamac release from 2023, Walmart exclusive for uh, for cheap, euro and a half also. Originally for sale for five euro, but never got sold because, you know, American car, nobody wants it here. So this is the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. Probably I would not buy this either, but you know, if you can get a Zamac car for a euro and a half. I am not leaving that behind. I will add it to the uh, Zamac Jammer 1988 Ford T-Bird on the base. So plastic bottom and rear end there. And it does have the lens headlights within the blue window piece, unfortunately. But cool to add another Zamac to the collection. BMW i8 Roadster also reduced from five euro to euro and a half. No tempo in the front, just the BMW logo on top. And then we got some uh, rear deco there. Yeah, it's nice to see a different color of interior, but with that kind of steering wheel, uh, yeah, you almost think it would be better in black. Also found one neon speeders uh, from 10 euro to one euro and a half. That's a pretty good discount. 2017 Nissan GTR 35. This is the other vehicles in the set. A good set. Uh, not worth these uh, astronomical prices though. Definitely not these uh, fantasy ones. So, you know. I don't need to have them. If I can pick one up for cheap, I will. Nice rims. Uh, I'm not a fan of the blue of the yellow uh, window piece, but you know, whatever. Also has the lens headlights. Um, pretty much full deco on this thing. That is nice. Even got uh, some silver in the front there. And then also got uh, one of these from this uh, Japanese set. All good cars in there. Uh, yeah. So this is the uh, Fair Lady 2000. I actually have the early releases of this casting still carded. Uh, 2017, 2018. I did not open up my stuff then back then. And I still have all of them carded. But this is definitely a... a a nicer looking than those, uh, nicer looking one than those early ones. Again, almost full deco, but this one gets four tempo sides. Don't know why it didn't get the rear. Kind of weird. Why some do and some don't. I don't know. Some packaging rub on top there, but you know, it was fairly cheap, so I'm not complaining. Also found a bunch of Matchbox from Blondie. Uh, missed out on a lot of uh, uh, Matchbox, well, at, th at least three cases in uh, 2023. So this is the 1934 Chevy Master Coupe or Coupe. So basically all mainline stuff was one and a half euro. I think you figured that out by now. 
great to get another power grabs they've become hard to find again after uh, action discount stores quit selling them so we got chrome base mixed for the chrome bumpers fully tempoed front end there plastic running boards and uh, wheel arches part of the interior spare wheel also just his center uh, uh, and uh, off-white ish part is metal oh that's fine I don't mind another 2023 mainline I missed out on the Volkswagen EV4 originally five got it for one euro and a half so American loan card again it's got a cracked blister so so this is actually the ID4 but for some reason it's called the electrical vehicle electric vehicle for odd it's got a piece of metal that is painted running across uh, the interior there uh, and that uh, connects to uh, this rivet here so it's better than a post but they can't do a post because it's a whole a completely plastic roof but it's a nice model nonetheless found a few of these uh, VW set ones to my utter surprise 1974 Volkswagen type 181 number four of six so here's a complete set um, this is the same as the uh, 2011 five pack version from the uh, uh, VW classics five pack did not have it so that's maybe why they were uh, selling them for cheaper because most collectors have these the uh, yeah this thing comes out easily it's just a clip so this is a pearl white but does it say on last plate something 2010 I'm not sure what it says hard to read uh, we get a proper steering wheel still on this casting this is probably one of the last of the Mohicans that still has a proper steering wheel uh, that is uh, really surprising to me but uh, I love it seems to say KJC 2010 I'm not sure what that stands for but maybe someone can fill me in nice clear window piece perfect and then we got this one, the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4, number 5 of 6, which is the same as the um, Dino Mountain 5-pack version from 2008. Again, don't have it, so I don't mind. But, yeah, I get it. For people who uh, have been collecting for a long time and have all this stuff, it's kind of annoying that they keep putting out repeat stuff. National Park tempo there interesting park patrol yeah just a side deco typical for five pack models then from this uh, truck series uh, got this uh, 2008 holden ve ute ssv also five reduced to a year and a half uh, rio asada casting 2021 uh, truck series this is yeah, not a lot of very interesting uh, stuff in this batch. The Subaru is kind of cool. And the Nissan. This one's okay. Yeah, this one's definitely the best of the of this batch. Falcon livery. Nice purple. Not the first time they uh, did it in purple. But I'm sure it will be... Uh, Slightly different purple. Sweet. And staying with uh, pickup trucks, we got the Japan Origins. 
1962 Nissan Junior. Great set, a lot of uh, repeats in there too. But this one was uh, a new color for this model. So happy to uh, be able to grab that. Headlights are done with some uh, grill details there. And then we get some typos in the rear. Good enough. She also had some moving parts for uh, affordable prices. Uh, 2023 moving parts, 2021 Fiat 500e. So seven and a half euro reduced to two and a half euro. So new casting for 2023, nice color. Cool to have the, um, the EV version, the European one. Altus gave us the American version, which is older. Metal hatch in the back. A lot of metal here uh, inside even, surprising amount of metal there. Yeah. Nice one, very popular vehicle in Europe. Still see lots of these around. A nice way to it too. Also from 2023, the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U5023. Uh, same pricing on it. I'll keep this carded and open it up in the uh, Unimog video. Also from 2023, the uh, 1964 Buick Riviera. This was reduced from eight euro to two and a half euro. Again, because it's an American vehicle, we get chrome base. It makes for the bumpers and the grill and headlights in the front. Uh, deco on the side, all chromed up. Riviera on the front fender there. You get a disc for steering wheel, which is nice. Uh, I'm happy with that. Tempo in the rear. Nothing better than uh, that thing we saw earlier. And the BMW i8 Roadster that was. If the doors open up, you need to have uh, you know something that looks like a steering wheel. That's my opinion. Yeah. And the 1950 Chevy Suburban, also eight euro reduced to two and a half. First example I have of this one, some tempo on the rear, some tempo on the front, on the plastic, um, the fenders are part of the interior, but the running boards are part of the base, and there's also some uh, detail there, Chevrolet, with the Chevy bow tie in blue, a Chevrolet in red, and then silver for the um, the ornament and then the metal hood opens up to reveal a nicely painted engine that's nice yeah that's definitely not bad at all and that has a pretty good way to it also got some of these matchbox collectors from 2023 1970 uh, Datsun 510 rally uh, reduced well, originally there was a yellow sticker underneath there, so it must have been more expensive. But uh, we see here that it was lost, uh, offered for sale for 10 euro, and I got it for half the price. That's the maximum I will pay for these. 
and I managed to grab an uh, error. Uh, I did not purposely grab it. Usually when it comes to matchbox, I just grab them, expecting them to be perfect. Um, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of competition at this event and this cheap stuff sells out fast. So you just got to grab what you can and, um, you know, make sure that, uh, you, um, no, no one else gets it before you. So no, 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 no time to inspect uh, cars uh, at uh, Blondie Stable. So I will be able to add this to the error collection. Rubber tires, different colors for the rims, front and rear. Full deco, even the uh, extra lights on the roof are painted up. That's nice to see. And then in the rear, we got that uh, faulty tempo, which seems to be uh, applied in one pass, which is interesting because that's not always the case. But the best part, of course, is the, the roof rack, the stuff detailed. Even says petrol on the jerry can. That's cool. I was surprised to find this one in there. Although, you know, I've said it before, British cars aren't uh, that popular anymore. Um, in 1969, Triumph TR6. So the previous one did not have an opening part, uh, which is kind of okay on that one because it, uh, the tempo um, on the roof kind of makes up for that, I think. Um, so yeah, of course, rubber tires, nice clear window piece, I like that. Uh, tempo all around. Don't know what that license plate means, but it probably does mean something seems to have a separate uh, chrome bumper piece that is really nice yeah you can kind of jiggle it a little bit so it's uh, yeah it's a it's a separate piece in there and that is that's pretty awesome uh steering wheel is okay looking i mean i can live with that um yeah but these interiors are not as nice as they used to be but it's still uh Workable, I guess. We've got a thick metal uh, bonnet here that opens uh, surprisingly well, I must say. Uh, uh, just looking at uh, some of the other opening parts recently, this one's pretty good because this is also a new casting, right? Yeah, for 2023. Uh, but no engine detail, although the engine is a metal. So at least there's that. So all in all, uh, this is pretty good. Uh, this is very good. And I'm very pleased with it. Even got the Union Jack there on the left. Yeah, sweet. Love it. And it's got a uh, very great, uh, very good green, British racing green color. I was also very pleased to be able to snag up this one, 12 and a half euro for five euro, 2012 Lexus LFA. Wow. Yeah, some surprises there. And this is metal on metal. Would you look at that? New casting also. It does get the rubber tires too. And the metal base now that's how the uh, matchbox collectors should always be that gives you a lot of bang for your buck full deco got the uh, orange there and then the tail light that wraps around that shows you that it's full deco uh, no paint for the exhausts there the three stacked exhaust
it's not a paint chip no it's just some excess uh, black paint and then we got uh, metal opening doors and they have some uh, details on the door cards even it's a left hand drive and unfortunately it's got that um, yeah urinal type thing in there that's a bummer uh, but very weighty piece and uh, yeah best to keep the door shut awesome from another seller i got this a matchbox five pack now i immediately noticed this one so i thought hey uh, we got that recently in another uh, five pack what was this uh was this uh was that a re-release of uh, of this older one um and then i um, looked at the back and i saw that this there was rips in there and tape so i kind of figured hey this must have been opened up and resealed so i asked the the seller and he said well i don't know i i got it like that they always say that um but because of that i got a discount uh, all five packs seem to be uh, uh, for sale at namak for 12 12 and a half euro now because that's what they sell for in, um, in in stores unfortunately um so yeah two euro per car uh, so indeed, I looked it up afterwards. Uh, this was uh, a exclusive to the 2021 Exotic 5-pack. So what was in here in this 2008 VIP 5-pack was a Porsche 911 GT3. So someone took that out, probably a Porsche collector, uh, stuck this one in there and then um, sold it on. Oh well, uh, I'm going to look at the, the other stuff. Let's just uh, rip this open. Well, we're going to look at uh, all of them, of course. Uh, just start at the top. Lexus GS430, 2006 model. Uh, great casting, very nice blue color. Uh, great tempo work on these. Uh, Lexus on the license plate there. Awesome. Jaguar, oops, got the reverse base. New Jaguar XK, 2006. Never noticed that new on there. Um, that's interesting. A nice red. Did, uh, did a bunch of uh, red-like vehicles, you know, Bordeaux, Burgundy. Um, yeah, different kind of reds. Nicely detailed again, as I said, as they were back then. So here we got that 2021 five pack release. Lotus Evora 2008. This uh, fluorescent greenish yellow. Uh, just a top deco, basically. Some black here in the back and then here in the front. Uh, that's it nice and cheap one tempo one stamp and it's done mercedes-benz cls 500 another great casting in this uh, metallic brown again you even get some silver for the uh, fog lights you wouldn't see that anymore nowadays uh, yeah good stuff perfect and then we got the range rover sport 2005 model side deco front and rear so four tempo sides on this thing look at that awesome sweet then the next seller is a german seller that always has a very interesting stuff um he has loose cars and carded stuff and i was very happy to find this uh, matchbox matra rancho uh, this is the first release from 1982 and uh, you know for three euro that's a uh, that's a good deal so i uh, picked it up only to uh, clean that uh, windscreen windshield because of the glue 
So lens headlights, metal body, metal base, and then a plastic piece in between. Uh, it's probably a part of the interior. Got a metal fold down uh, tailgate. No, sorry, it's plastic. Um, this is not an error. This uh, I think is uh, on the, where the, the rear window wiper goes in, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. It's got the trailer hitch. Got these Alpine windows. Of course, got suspension. Yeah. Very nice. And he also had a uh, classic Norev mini jet made in France, Talbot Horizon. And this is the first Norev I have that does not have the um, slammed look. Um, they all look slammed because the um, the thing that holds the axles kind of uh, gives way and uh, they uh, kind of sink. Uh, all the way to the bottom um, yeah it's got some uh, pitting going on fortunately but hey uh, can't have your cake and eat it too this was a little more expensive at four euro but uh, for this good condition and to have one that has uh, the correct ride height I was willing to pay that uh, so this is a um, French hatchback, not a lot of companies uh, did this casting, so I thought this was definitely worth picking up. And this uh, German seller has been uh, my uh, uh, supply of Grell uh, East German cars for a long time. And this time he had brought a bunch of them, so uh, I'm bought uh, all the ones that I did not have yet uh, unfortunately he did raise his price a bit uh, last time I bought uh, these from him they were three euro each and um, this time um, he was asking five for each luckily his wife was standing next to him and she immediately said uh, four euro is, is uh, okay for them so uh, I was very happy with that uh, he uh, uh, looked at her uh, with uh, you know a face uh, facial expression that was very funny uh, so i got a little bit of help from uh, his missus at acquiring these for a little bit uh, better price um so yeah uh, this is the um braustolz um, series uh, the German uh, beer manufacturer. Uh, here's some other vehicles on the back. Um, I don't have uh, the full set yet, but I'm getting closer. So, dream cars of the uh, former uh, Democratic uh, German Republic. Number two, 2005 release. Uh, PKW means uh, passenger car. Uh, the Wadberg Camping. They uh, used to call these uh, station wagons camping for some reason. Very cool looking vehicle. Also got some kind of, uh, you know, it's not all Alpine windows, but the, the side windows in the rear go all the way to uh, into the roof, which is very interesting. So if you're new to these, these have a plastic base. It doesn't say what it is on the base, that's kind of annoying. Uh, just say Grell model. But uh, they do have uh, rubber tires. A nice chrome wheels, two tone body color, separate chrome bumpers, front and rear. And uh, yeah, you got some, uh, some details, not all of it, and the indicators are not painted orange. But you get the grill and the headlights and the chrome bezels around it, and then some red for the taillights. You know, it's uh, basic, but all in all, pretty good. Uh, yeah, really like this window piece and rear, as I said. Let's 
sweet. Then number seven, 2005, the IFA F8 Luxus Cabriolet, luxury cabriolet. And the back here, it's called the um, Export Cabrio. So a lot of them have green in them because that's the color of the beer. Uh, so yeah. This one has the white walls. The um, ivory part is plastic. And then what you see is green is metal, but they have a nice way to them. Nice clear window piece again. It's got these uh, Rolls Royce style doors that open the, to the back. A nice steering wheel. And uh, well, the interior is, is nicely detailed, let's say. Again, separate pieces for the um, bumpers, some red for the taillights. Nice. Then in 2005, they also did a, a Christmas special. A Weihnachten is a Christmas in German. With a, a trailer, so a uh, Wadberg Tourist. So here they did not call it camping, but tourist. Um, yeah, interestingly. Uh, mit Anhänger with a trailer. That's a pretty cool set. So maybe I'll show it through the packaging before everything drops out. So the um, Christmas tree with some snow on it is in the trailer. And there's a uh, guy sitting on the trailer with a big jug of beer uh, in his hand. So he uh, might have just went to the um, Oktoberfest, who knows? Uh, yeah, nice one. Let's see if we can get this out without making too much damage. Huge trailer hitch on that thing. Okay, maybe they glued them in there. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is all glued down in in and on. So that's cool. So it stays like that. That's a little bit uh, funky, but we'll see how that fits. So same vehicle as we saw uh, previously but a different uh, color. Uh, huge trailer hitch on there. That's kind of, yeah, over the top. Oh yeah, I think that uh, works pretty well like that. That's cool. Dude's got gold hair, imagine that. Sweet. Then number 10, 2006. The uh, Trabant. Let's see, does it say something on the rear? Extra info, Trabant 500. I don't know if that uh, means 500 cc or what. I'm not sure. Cute little thing. Um, I think you have I guess you had to pay extra for uh, this middle section for the bumper. <laughs> I don't know. That's just on the corners. That's pretty funny. At least in the front, you got a full bumper. Uh, the two-tone makes it look uh, more fancy than it uh, really was. Awesome. Number 11 of 2006. Let's see, number 11, the uh, Wadberg 353. Also looking fancy with the uh, ivory roof. This one also has a trailer hitch, interestingly. 
Um, I'm wondering if that uh, trailer would fit on uh, on here. I think this came with um, uh, possibly um, a caravan or something. Um, yeah. So I told it before. This is a, this is a vehicle that I know know from my youth. It's got one side mirror there. Uh, these uh, made it all the way to uh, to the western part of Europe. It's got the exhaust coming out of the side here. Funny. Uh, not that there was many, but you know there was uh, enough for me to remember them. Let's see if this will fit on there. No, unfortunately, don't doesn't. The hole's too small. Oh well. Number 14, 2006. Trabant camping again, station wagon, so they call it camping. Camping. Cool uh, picture on the back there of the real vehicle. Number 14, let's see. What they say. Trabant P500 Combi. Combi is what uh, Germans often refer to as a station wagon. Sometimes also a... Um, well, over here it's used for a, a van with windows, a Combi. But I don't know. I'm not sure if uh, Germany also uses that word for, uh, for vans with windows. But definitely for a station wagon. Got a little mirror there on the front fender. Uh, tire has come off of this uh, rim. And I also got the, the middle section of the bumper missing on the on the station wagon version. This is another one with a trailer. Number 15, 2006. Camp Tourist. This is actually uh, an advertising for the um, the camper trailer, the pop-up camper trailer. Awesome. Fifteen. Trabant six hundred one limousine with club fix. So the club fix is the the pop-up camper. Funny that they call it a limousine. It's uh, yeah. Americans would refer to it as a super mini, but I guess limousine just refers to the fact that it's just uh, the regular passenger car and not the uh, station wagon. I guess. So all plastic trailer. Of course, it's not functional. Uh, that would be crazy. Does this also have rubber tires? No, this has plastic tires. Got some details there, tempo-wise. Now we get the Trabi. Full bumper in the rear on this one. It's a little bit uh, later style Trabant, I think. And uh, this uh, thing has a pin that goes in the hole in the vehicle, so it's a little different setup than uh, some of the other ones. There you go. Bumper kind of makes sure that it doesn't come off. That's kind of cool. Kind of kind of a neat design. Yeah. Hilarious. Number sixteen, two thousand six, the Trabant Tramp. That's an interesting name. Let's see, 16. The uh, Kubel is uh, what it's called. Kind of a buggy style vehicle. This one has just black plastic bumpers that are part of the base. Got the extra lights on the bumper there, that's cool. Then a uh, soft top that is completely metal, painted green, and a um, spare wheel on the rear there. Uh, this bumper is a little bit too low, should sit a little bit more up. Then we got these kind of beach style seats. 
and yeah, proper steering wheel. It's a four seater, so not bad. Cool. Here we got a uh, special release for uh, PS Giganten. Uh, kind of translates to horsepower giants, which uh, none of these vehicles clearly are. Kind of funny. So here we got the uh, Renpappe Combi mit Kvek Junior. Uh, so kind of a Trabant uh, station wagon with a um, caravan camper trailer made by Quack, the Junior model. This is a flat blue color. Uh, base clips into the back. And then the lighter, lighter blue, almost grayish uh, roof. Also flat or matte. Again, separate pieces for the bumpers in chrome. And that same style uh, trailer hitch. So here we've got the old plastic. Oh, look at that. It's a high speed caravan, camper trailer. That's interesting. Uh, first time I see uh, another brand on there. Very tiny wheels. Uh, plastic, I'm assuming. No, rubber. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Is there an interior in there? Got to know that, right? Uh, it's got the door painted on there. Let's see if we can chuck some light in the front there. Oh no, no interior. A lot of space. So let's uh, put these two together. Sorry, it's kind of hard to uh, to do because it doesn't really want to fit very well. Because that wheel is, that wheel is in the way. So, jeez, it doesn't really. Oh yeah, there you go. So the the little wheel kind of holds it on there, so that it doesn't come off. So in this case, it's not the bumper that's acting as a kind of a clip on. Again, cool combo. Uh, camper trail looks a little bit small compared to the vehicle. And then the last one is a later release from 2007. Um, just says, uh, you know, DDR PKW mod Modelle. Um, so um, East German passenger car models, loosely translated. Rennpapa 601, so again the Trabant. 1600 pieces made. Uh, here's the other models, so 2007, as you can see. So is this the one we got here, number six? Uh, yeah, it's number five we got for this one. Yeah. Uh, these do not have the chrome rims or bumpers anymore. So kind of a dumbed down versions. Got a very uh, strange looking exhaust. They still had the rubber tires though, that's cool. And again, no chrome uh, or silver paint, more kind of a gray, primer gray paint to get the indicators done on this. Olive green color. And also the uh, reflectors on the bottom there, so it's not bad. And the uh, bumpers are separate pieces in green interestingly it's kind of actually has a double bumper it's got the black plastic one and then the green separate piece on top ah, interesting also has that 
strange contraption of a trailer hitch. Interesting. Very interesting collection. Then I encountered a table that had a lot of people in front of it. And this seller was selling uh, all kinds of uh, Lamborghini cars in all kinds of scales. The three inch ones were under the table. So uh, I had to uh, dive under the table to uh, look what was there. And I, I managed to grab some stuff and also got a little bit of a discount. Uh, this is a 2011 Premier model. And this is the Gallardo LP570-4 Superleggera. Uh, they were all opened up. Um, so uh, uh, they had been on, on display probably. So I cleaned them up first and then put them back in the packaging. Um, so that you can look at some nice and clean stuff. Side deco with this Superleggera. Uh, top deco for these tampos. And then nothing in the rear. So three tempo size. Plastic sporter on the back. Nice green color. I also had this one. Lamborghini Estoc. 2014 release. I did not manage to get this one out of there. I don't know how he did it. Because it's not, it doesn't open far enough for me to get it out of there. Um, so I will... Uh, I have to rip this one open with pleasure, of course. Nice silver. Might be an early release too, I'm not sure. It's got a kind of a gloss white interior. You don't see that very often anymore nowadays. And nothing uh, tempo-wise on the rear. You do get the Italian flag here on the side. So that's the side deco and then the top deco for the lights and the logo. That's basically it. Uh, concept car, of course. Don't do a lot of concept cars, but this one's uh, interesting. Always glad to find a Mondo Motors. These are pretty hard to come by. It's got the uh, Lamborghini. Automobili Lamborghini. A licensing sticker on there. So Italian design, Chinese production, 164 scale. These were also used in the Top Gear series. And that's why uh, the um, driver's seat looks a bit weird. Nice rims. Got some paint on there. Headlights done, no Lamborghini logo, strangely enough. Uh, tail lights are done and some flat black paint there. Some engine detail. And then um, I'll show you the interior. So you can see there's a Stig figure in the uh, Top Gear Series ones. That's why the uh, seat has these, uh, these things on there. And the Stig figure is actually holding the steering wheel. Uh, so there's no steering wheel on this because uh, it's uh, in the hands of the Stig on the Top Gear series. But they use these castings for their regular releases, as you can see. And that's why it is how it is. Um, underneath the table or in front of the table, there were some boxes with 143 scale cars, if I can remember correctly. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw this corner of a box underneath the 143 scale stuff and I was like hey wait a minute I know that started digging and then these came out Tomica Museum releases so I, I guess these were some kind of exclusive releases uh, M14 uh, so M possibly stands for museum 2003 release uh, so yeah Decent price for these, especially if they are, uh, you know, not that common. Two thousand and three copyright, so that means that this was new then. Uh, that's interesting. 
Lamborghini Countach LP500S. Suspension, gold rims, nice blue color. Got the headlights in silver and the very tiny Lamborghini logo. That's the bumper is part of the plastic base. Got an opening part here, the engine cover. It reveals a chrome engine underneath, plastic. Detailed taillights. Um, to the license plate says F F um, F uh, zero thirty seven I think F means foreign, and then the thirty seventh casting of the um, foreign car makes. I guess uh, the wing is metal, and I got nice white interior with uh, an okay looking steering wheel yeah that's a sweet find and there was another one of course i took both of them also from 2003 same price also from the tomica museum And this is the Lamborghini Miura SV, also a 2003 copyright. Suspension, some gold trim on the rocker panel. Miura embossed on the back there. Louvers on the back. This one's got opening doors. Gray interior on this. That's the grill, and then the same details as I got on the Countach. Cool. Nice one. That was a great find. But it didn't, didn't stop there. We also had this one. Tomica Limited. So kind of the... Uh, what was before Tomica Premium. You got Tomica Limited. Uh, the Lamborghini Countach LP500S also, just like uh, they had in the basic range. We also got this limited version. 0031. Mm, can't really see a year on this. Oh yeah, 2003 also. So these kind of slide out like that. And then the mayhem starts because if you pull them out like this, all kind of stuff falls out. You got that uh, metal piece. It also says the name of the vehicle. There's also a little uh, folder in here. Let's just take a quick look at that, even though we're already an hour in. Uh, I think some of you might like to see what is on there. Can freeze the frame if you want to look at the. Uh, and it's a little bit more closer so let's take this out and put it uh, yeah on there because otherwise we're going to have mayhem as i said if i do it like this it doesn't fall apart like it tends to do and then it's easier to put it back together uh, some uh, detail for the uh, gearbox and the engine with the uh, exhaust Sticking out there, and then get four silver exhausts there. Nice 1978 copyright. So, this uh, appears to be a different casting, or maybe it, no, it does it really is, seems like the same casting, but maybe it was originally from 78. And then they I don't know why they changed the copyright on the other one, but this looks uh, the same base right and it looks like the same casting um so it's the same opening part and everything so i'm not sure why yeah it's definitely the same one not sure why they changed the copyright on them on that blue one but so originally it was from 78. a nice authentic rims the Rubber tires are starting to crack, unfortunately. Um, full deco on these, because you know they were premium. 
They got all kinds of details everywhere, almost everywhere. And it's got this little uh, piece to hold the engine cover open. You got some uh, silver there on the black uh, plastic engine. And that's about it. Next seller also happened to have some Tomica. Uh, he's a Dutch guy that is married to a American woman. I have, have bought stuff from him before and um, usually I don't manage to get a discount but this time I did to my uh, total surprise and uh, I was very surprised because this was already a few hours into the event uh, that this was still there uh, but Tomica is not that popular out at uh, Namak so if you're looking for Tomica you've got a, a fair chance to find some some uh, sellers are selling them for a lot of money because uh, you know they're being unrealistic but um, you know here and there you can find a reasonably reasonably priced Tomica uh, seven and a half euro ended up paying the number of the beast for it to uh, 2022 release on this one still wrapped in the plastic at the uh, Ferrari. Where did I see the Ferrari licensing? Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Ferrari official product sticker. So it's not that Ferrari doesn't allow other manufacturers to uh, to release Ferrari products as long as you put on the uh, official product sticker sticker and they approve your product it's fine Plastic base, plastic uh, tires, authentic uh, rims. Unfortunately, not uh, open uh, holes between the spokes, and would that make made it more realistic? But that's usually the case with these premium ones. They are just uh, completely filled up plastic rims. Get lens headlights, and of course full deco. Got the uh, prancing horse in the grill there. Il Cavallino Rampante. And we got the Scuderia logo on the side. You can see uh, through there, but I don't see much of an engine there. Honestly, I do see a Ferrari logo there. No? Is that a Ferrari logo? What do you guys think? Yeah, it is. That's the prancing horse right there top of the engine so at least there's that that's pretty cool i like that uh, i don't think there's an opening part on this is there no i don't think so but that's okay doesn't have to there's no suspension either but you know sports car needs to sit low and suspension only makes them sit high so don't mind that at all and he also had this Bugatti Veyron 16.4 for the same price. This is a 2021 release. Oh, yeah. Can open it up already like this. I'll take the rest of the plastic off later that's just that little corner is uh, giving me a hard time come on dude what's up with you yes so 
some anti-theft device thingy stuck to it. 162 scale on this. We got it very on. This one does seem to have suspension. Lens headlights also. Again, lots of details. Nice light colored interior. Two tone body. Cool. And he also had this one, which kind of intrigued me for my uh, bus collection. I didn't know what it was, but uh, luckily I have a, a very knowledgeable friend, uh, uh, Heron van Damme. He told me that this uh, brand is called uh, Aeoli. Um, and this is a uh, Mitsubishi uh, Rosa bus, I believe. That is a uh, Tommy car knockoff. So let's see, do I have to cut this still, or is it open? Yeah, it's taped on both sides. So probably never been opened. Mm -mm -mm. Let's use the knife again. Safer way to open it up. So pretty heavy little thing has a plastic base it might have a pullback motor it does um, it uh, has an all metal body full deco except for the headlights and the grill it's got a side door that actually functions look at that it's all plastic I'm not sure if we can uh, close it up again no not completely Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if it's a school bus or not, or just a regular public transport. But uh, yeah, it's a nice addition to the bus collection. Next seller is uh, a guy I've bought a lot of stuff before. He is uh, selling off his uh, Renault collection. And he had a lot of stuff uh, that was interesting to me uh, again. Uh, very cheap. Uh, and I got uh, a, a nice discount from him. Um, this is a Saviem truck by uh, Majorette. Uh, I guess early 80s. I did some research on it, but I could not find much uh, about it. About this particular version, I mean. So made in France, 1 to 100 scale. So a white uh, metal body with a... Uh, blue tarpaulin. Uh, the only uh, picture I could find of this uh, combination is, was with a um, uh, Adidas livery, but the Adidas or Adidas, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, was tampoed on the tarpaulin and not a sticker. Uh, whereas here you can kind of see some uh, sticker residue still left on there. I mean, it's not sticky anymore, but you can kind of tell that there, there used to be a sticker. I did not find any picture of this with a sticker. Uh, by the way, very inappropriate to put uh, Adidas on there, if you um, if you know what it stands for, uh, you know, being a kid's toy. No suspension on this. And then we got this uh, Renault truck. Um, the Saviem is in, was in his collection because I think at one point Renault bought Saviem. That's, I guess, why it was uh, in the uh, collection of this uh, Renault collector. Um, this one was available from 1997 till 2001. Um, so it was a little bit more expensive, but still very affordable for a uh, mint. Uh, majorette from uh, you know at least 23 years ago got this little wind deflector on the coe cab over engine and one to 100 scale majorette uh, not made in france as you can see it's, it's said made in france there but it's been uh, 
crossed out. Plastic box on the rear with some uh, clownish people dancing. And this uh, has kind of a ramp, interestingly, this container. I don't want to force it. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to break that latch. Nice one. I also scored this Corgi from him, a Renault traffic bus. Um, this was uh, made in Great Britain. It has a 1984 copyright, Corgi Toys Limited. It was already opened up. The car was dusty, so cleaned it up. A Renault Traffic, made in Great Britain, Corgi. Grand Hotel, courtesy bus, livery. It's got a few paint chips, unfortunately, but I did not have an example of this uh, uh, traffic with the windows and the seats in the back. I only have uh, the panel van version. So yeah, I was very pleased to find this shuttle bus. Very cool. And as always, he had a bunch of NORF, or in this case, uh, Universal Hobbies. And a bunch of them were in the Renault Assistance livery. Uh, they were a little bit more expensive than uh, regular uh, NORF bats, you know, with the nice discount. I got them for under five. That's, uh, that's what I feel comfortable with paying for something as special as this. Renault Scenic, R Scenic RX4, so kind of a... A European small minivan in the, with the 4x4. Um, I'm fond of these roadside assistance livery vehicles. Uh, they're hard to come by and they usually don't come cheap. So uh, whenever I can get a good deal on these, that is a happy days for me. So these have plastic tires, authentic rims, um, suspension, you can see the suspension bars there, uh, flat black cladding on the side, uh, all metal, uh, the bumpers are plastic though, uh, possibly part of the interior because they have a, a kind of a different uh, shade than the uh, base. It's got a trailer hitch, I mentioned it before, no idea why. Um, and neither NORF nor Universal Hobbies, I think, did uh, trailers. The hatch opens up. The uh, emergency number of uh, Renault Assistance on there. Got a nice separate piece for that orange light bar, lens headlights, the whole nine yards. Very cool. Now this one's a Norev, same price, a Kangoo van. And it comes with that uh, awesome contraption that sits on the trailer hitch. Only have, uh, I think one other vehicle that has this, uh, this thing. So this one is metal on metal with suspension again. Flat black cladding on the side in metal and plastic bumpers, possibly part of the interior. Lens headlights, that also an orange light bar, slightly different than the one from Universal Hobbies. So this thing folds down. Like that the uh, hatch opens up and this uh, kind of moves so making making it easier for uh, to transport a vehicle another assistance vehicle but uh, in a uh, Renault service livery. A 
metal base, Renault Megane, suspension, authentic rims, lens headlights, full deco, opening hatch. And again, that silly trailer hitch, completely useless. Let's put it down there. And that's how you can uh, pull it. You see, it kind of moves with the vehicle somehow. Got some play value there. Oops, sorry. First example I have of this um, Norev Renault Clio in a French postal service livery. Metal on metal, suspension, authentic rims, lens headlights, as usual. Same good stuff with that silly trailer hitch. Then from a different seller, uh, I saw this Renault Megane for sale for five euro. But I noticed that it did not have uh, the um, front tamper for the headlights. So I kind of wanted this for my error collection and I showed it to him and he said, oh, well, I didn't know that you can have it for one euro. And I was like, sure, I'll take it. I have this in kind of a yellowish color. Um, I don't think I have it in this blue, almost purple. The Nomi Gun, it says on the base. No suspension, authentic rims, plastic tires. Uh, no more lens headlights on these modern ones. So it did get the black for the grill and the silver for the uh, Renault. Uh, Renault logo, but not the headlights. The rear tempo is uh, fully done though, interestingly. And another seller had this uh, Peugeot 5008 for three euro. Um, did not have this casting, so, and this kind of money, you know, that's worth it. Plastic base, suspension, authentic wheels, plastic tires, lens headlights. Uh, grills are very nicely done on these. Nicely, nicely detailed. Got the panoramic roof. Very big Peugeot logo on the rear there. Uh, I think in real life might have been a little bit smaller. I'm not sure. Has some printing on there, but kind of hard to read on the light blue color. So yeah, glad to finally have an example of that. And then I found a table uh, with all fire engines on it for one euro. Unfortunately, I was running out of time, so I did not have time to um, inspect all the vehicles. But I did notice these two gems. These are Norev Minijet Volvo F89. So kind of the same time period, I guess, as, uh, as this one. Of course, not to scale. But, you know, made to fit in the same uh, blister, obviously. They're the, approximately the same length. And I got both of these because um, one has a black base and the other has a gray base. So it makes for a different grill. And one has a clear cherry on top and one has a blue cherry on top, interestingly. Um, this thing swivels, goes up and down. And it also has these little uh, things that you can pull down for uh, stability when the ladder is up. So very cool, old stuff. Not sure what year these are from, but definitely old. And uh, in great nick. So very pleased to get these. Oh yeah, and the um, the metal bed in the back clips into this plastic part and kind of makes it look like they are tail lights. That's a clever way of doing things. Sweet. 
same no different seller had these uh, majorettes um this is from 2008 peugeot 206 cc which stands for coupe and convertible suspension generic rims black paint for the cladding wrap around tail lights um, clip from the base to the body nice uh, interior authentic looking steering wheel painted uh, headlights on these and I also got this Mercedes I could not find a year on this but it's got the same packaging so it must be around 2008 too uh, but I did not find uh, the combination of this uh, body color with these rims uh, so um, but I'm guessing it's around the same time period Mercedes Benz SLK no oh, it does have suspension sorry uh, painted headlights painted tail lights and a Mercedes star in the middle there of course you gotta have that it sits on top of the third brake light so that's <laughs> um yeah not very good but you know that's the only spot they had i guess authentic looking steering wheel even got the, those round uh, buttons on there that these uh, mercedes steering wheels had it's got them a star in the middle there just a perfect steering wheel for such a little toy car that is unbelievable that uh, major can pull this, that off and still pulls it off on the certain uh, vehicles in their lineup it's very impressive. Running out of space here on the table. This one from that same seller that had the majorette. He had a bunch of uh, Siku singles, not that interesting ones and not that interestingly priced, but I had never seen this three pack before. So this is a classic car set, seven euros, so two euro and 33 cents per car. Um, that's not bad these are metal on metal uh, they're not that detailed but uh, i'd still like them nonetheless uh, i should keep discarded because it's the first time i see an old cq uh, five uh, three pack like this i think this is somewhere from the 90s uh, but you know i open up everything or well most stuff anyway so I'm going to open up this too if they uh they want to come out these uh, do not have an easy opening system so metal base vw 1303 ls it says on there metal bumpers part of the base painted tail lights painted headlights and that's all you get tempo wise opening doors proper steering wheel and crane here kind of lights up the thing a little bit nice i'm not going to put these too far because we will need them later on in this video and again we got the same thing going on here here we got the citroen de chevaux the 2cv6 six does not mean it's a six cylinder by any means it's a two cylinder as you can see Got that funky suspension detail there on the metal base. Uh, this one has kind of authentic looking uh, rims with the three uh, uh, Lutnags. Um, whereas this is totally generic. Um, got some paint there in the front. No paint in the rear. And we got that plastic roof that is uh, folded back, soft top. That's cool. I did not have a version of this particular roof version uh, grayish interior but the uh, red uh, sorry black dashboard and steering wheel sweet we got the, the line in there for the the pop-up window because these are not roll down windows and then the last one mini cooper Rover Mini, it was then called Mini Light Wheels. 
So again, authentic looking, metal on metal. Uh, I think it has a metal roof. Red paints for the tail lights, silver for the front. Light colored interior again with a black thin wheel. And then from the next seller got about 10 Siku cars. He had some uh, very interesting stuff. He had a lot more, but um, some he was asking 10 or 15 euro for if they were very uh, exclusive to a country. And then others uh, were the same price, but were not you know, detailed enough for me to uh, justify paying um, four euro for them. But uh, this Porsche 911 in red, I had not seen this version before. So uh, yeah, uh, willing to grab that. Uh, time period, I think this uh, might be around, you know, 2000, between 2005 and 2010, I think. Porsche 911 Carrera S. Uh, so this is a, this was a very good time uh, if you speak about value for money for Siku. Rubber tire, tires, um, wheels uh, look authentic. Um, they are not necessarily authentic, but they have um, the brake discs there and then some space between the rim and the brake discs, so uh, open uh, open holes. So uh, realistic looking, they have lensed lights front and rear. Porsche badge is a little bit oversized. They have opening parts, in this case the doors with a uh, nice looking interior. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to drink something. And then uh, <clears throat> um, Carrera S on the back, metal spoiler, and a uh, good looking steering wheel, authentic looking. Let's not put these too far. Well, I don't really need those, but I need this one. Mini Cooper, this one was already open. Did not see it when I bought it, only saw it when I was preparing for the video. Same as the black one. So I'm going to put that in the back with those. Smart Cabrio. Uh, normally I would not spend that kind of money. It does have rubber tires and lensed headlights, but painted taillights. Um, but when I saw the two-tone interior, I was like, sold. And also it's got the uh, detailed dashboard there. That's very nice. So all in all, yeah, that kind of convinced me to spend that kind of money after all. Smart police. So got the rubber tires. And headlights got the um, light bar on top of the panoramic roof, if you can call it panoramic. That's not a lot of, not not that very big. I mean, uh, but uh, nicely detailed all around. Definitely worth the money. Bugatti EB 16.4 Veyron, another one. I already saw the Tomica version. Now we got the. Uh, Siku version. Here we got that uh, licensing sticker. Now we can see what year it will be. Because usually these folders, these leaflets, these flyers have a year on them. Or maybe this one hasn't. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, it doesn't seem to have a year on it. Okay. So again, rubber tires, authentic looking rims, lens headlights, painted tail lights. The police team van in the German police livery. Does not say much on the base. It's got the rubber tires, a little bit stiff. Uh, I think these are generic rims, but again, they have the open holes between the spokes. It's always nice to see. And the headlights, a separate piece for the light bar. 
at that uh, hatch in the back that opens up. There you go. Cool. These I was kind of in doubt whether they were worth the money uh, because they have lens headlights but not uh, lens taillights. But you know, got the extra stuff on the top. Police car. 1362 is the number, because the next one will also have that same number. This is a Mercedes-Benz C320. Plastic uh, tires, but authentic Mercedes rims on this. Opening doors, an authentic looking steering wheel. And nice details all around. Got the antenna and the light bar on there. So I thought, you know, mix up for it. And here's a uh, green police version. The, what you see is chrome silver should be white, really, to make it uh, realistic. But for some reason, they made these chrome. Don't know why. And then we got a few wagons. Police car again. On the card. You see the Audi A4 Avant. And not just any... Avant, but the 2.5 TDI Quattro. And the Germans are very specific on, the, on their stuff. Again, nice looking rims. Don't think they're authentic, but they look good on it. Headlights and taillights are lensed. Old style light bar on top. Got a trailer hitch. Good looking steering wheel. Audi on there. And a patrol car again. These uh, I got a little uh, discount on. Volkswagen Passat variant, two liter FSI petrol engine again, rubber tires, open spoke to wheels, newer light bar on this, much more appropriate I think for the time. Lens lights front and rear. Opening doors, so yeah, these uh, these offer a lot of bang for your buck. Steering wheel is a little bit uh, too tilted, yeah. Before we get to uh, the Siku Transporter, and just quickly show this uh, Shuko Junior Line truck. Should have showed it before the Siku, so we get uh, could uh, look at all Siku stuff from then. But oh well. Uh, taped up on both ends. Uh, this was only two euro and I thought it was interesting that it has a uh, uh, Shuko livery on the container. So they did, did not manufacture these, these themselves. They had these manufactured in China, I guess, uh, by other companies. So plastic tires, but you got some chrome rims. It's a Scania. Yeah, there's not much to it, but you know, I liked it because it was cheap and because it was in a, uh, a Shuko livery. That's kind of neat. And then we get to the uh, pièce de résistance when it comes to this video, in my opinion. A seller that has all Siku stuff, and he had this uh, with the boxed stuff. So I pointed at it, and he um, he asked, "You want to see it? You want to check it out? You can open it up. You can look at it." I was like, "No, I just want to buy it." I paid them. I paid him the twenty euro, and I ran as if I stole it. Box is a little bit done for. I mean, it's uh, seen uh, a few wars. Um, I have, or I already have an example of this style uh, Siku transporter, um, but I wasn't sure in which uh, which uh, color or hue I had it. Uh, but when I uh, pre was preparing for this video, I checked, and uh, the other one I have is gray with red. So the cabin is uh, gray, and it's also the low bed, and then the top bed is uh, red uh, with the chassis. So very cool that it wasn't the same. I got just a, a color variation of this uh, car transporter, which is awesome. 
because I love my car transporters. I have so many now that uh, I don't know how on earth I'm going to do that uh, video on my car transporters because it's going to be a logistic nightmare. Uh, I think it's going to be some dust on here. I did not uh, take it out to clean beforehand. Um, let's see. So it's all metal, as all the Siku transporters are. Nowadays they use a different transporter that's a little bit bigger. I think it's 150 scale, this is 155, so a little bit smaller. Um, what does it say? Just Siku on there. And then what does this say? Auto transporter made in Germany, Siku, yeah, okay. Um, they have, uh, yeah, these are rubber tires too. It's a Mercedes Actros rig, COE, tractor, lorry, truck. It's got the air intake on the on the rear here, this side. Um, and it's got a little stand here. That you can pull down when you detach it. It's detachable with this uh, thingy, like that. Very easy, very uh, German, uh, very efficient. And the metal ramp comes down like that and then you just have to slide this down and of course we're going to put these cars on there which are kind of period correct if you look at the box i'm just going to grab it from the floor these are all metal on metal cars on there and you see we have the the beetle there we have a different color there's some volkswagens and there's a mercedes c-class but the previous version the, um, then the police ones we saw and some other stuff. So these are all metal on metal from the same era as the ones we got here. So um, let's uh, drive a few on there like that. These minis are small enough to kind of fit on there all. But then the 2CV is too big, so we're going to put that there like that and then we can put the oh it doesn't fit it's hidden and yeah, the roof is hidden okay so we're going to have to switch a roof there you go and let's hope the uh, 2 cv is uh, going to fit underneath no it doesn't either now that's interesting so do they put all the lower cars on the base here um convertible see that one's on there but it does it's not possible to drive it underneath here so they just slid it in from the side they would have put all the convertibles on the bottom would have been probably realistic because they don't have a roof to to catch up to catch on so they just did it like this right yeah ah you see the germans sometimes they're sneaky now we have to lift it up a little bit to um, hook this up, I think. How does this work? Okay, I need to put on my glasses as I'm not... I don't see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching.